Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday and happy Halloween. So um, I'm doing this live early today because it is Halloween. So um, this is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com, and usually I do my lives on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, but since today is Halloween, I was worried there would be trick-or-treaters coming to the door and ringing the doorbell every five minutes. So I went ahead and told everybody last week mm -hmm. that we would do, uh-oh, I forgot to turn the sound off. Just Hold on. on. Okay, so um, I told everybody we'd be doing this early today. So hopefully you guys remembered. I know it's kind of a weird time um, in the middle of the day to do a video. So hopefully we'll have a bunch of you guys remember and get on here um, when the notices go out. So hopefully, my computer's going so slow today, I don't know. <laughs> it always works better at night. I guess there's less people on at night or something. You would think there's less people on in the middle of the day, but I think because of school and everything, there's always like a million people on the internet during the day. Finally, it only took like five minutes for my spinning to stop. So um, we're gonna wait just a couple more minutes and see if everybody remembers to get on here. So we're doing another Christmas card today. Um, I was going to do something totally different, and as usual, I start doing something, and then it changes to something else before I finish. So, um, this is going to be the next kit for card kits um, from Orders. So, anybody that orders from tomorrow, which is November, I cannot believe it's already November tomorrow, um, the 1st through the 15th, and uses the host code, and you can still use this host code today if you want to. So, um I save the host codes for at least a week or so after I take them off the videos. So if you have the other host code, you can use that one or you can use this one, doesn't matter. Um, any host code that works is fine as long as it's from my channel or my website. Um, and that is, oh, I don't even have it on here. Oh yeah, it is, stampingwithlisa.com. So let's say hello to everybody. So we've got, hey Vicki, hey Judith, hey Cindy. Hey, Laura. Hey, Heather. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Marjean. Oh, oh, Vicky says it's her nap time. I know. I'd like to take a nap today, too. Yesterday, yesterday at work, I could not stay awake. I was so tired, and I was just sitting there, and I just wanted to take a nap so bad, my eyes could hardly stay open. So today, I'm hoping maybe I'll get a nap in after the video. Um, hey, Diane. Hey, Linda. Hey, oh, I think I already said Heather, yep. Um, Diana, Dolores, Linda, I think I said Linda too. Um, let me see, love these beat up embossing folders. What do you mean beat up embossing folders? This one is this one, is one of my favorites, it's called Distress Tile. So it makes your card look distressed, even if it's not. And then also we're gonna be making it look more distressed today. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to do that. Um, oh, Laura, good. You set your alarm to remind you it was on at two o'clock. Um, hey, Barbara. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Lily. Hey, Mary. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Nora. Okay, I think I got everybody. Hopefully. Oh, Fran. I think I missed you, Fran. Roxanne. Roxanne. All right, so I haven't used this stamp set yet. It's one big giant stamp, and you're going to laugh when you see how I mounted it onto a block because it's hysterical. I didn't want to put it on a big block, so I only needed just this part right here So um, for the circle. So you're going to see how I did that. And then I'm using this stamp set for the inside of the card. So I stamped these beautiful trees right there from here. And I did them in blue to go with the blue of the sky. I was going to do them in brown, but I thought, no, I'll just do blue. So these are the two stamp sets you need, or any tree stamp will work. Um, but the deer stamp, you need this one. Unless you have another deer stamp, you could probably do that. And the paper that we're using is called Joyful Christmas. No, Joy of Christmas, sorry. Joy of Christmas. And I've used a ton of this paper. This is actually like two packs combined, I think. So we've got um, this pattern with the back. Um, this pattern. And I have used so many. I've done so many cards with this paper. It's gorgeous. That piece. I think they're really, really pretty. My favorite pieces are already used. This is my probably my favorite um, with that one. So there's, a, I think, a couple more pieces that I don't have because I've used them all. 
Um, but this paper is gorgeous and it's in the holiday mini. I think it is available right now. At least I hope it is. Um, I think almost everything is available right now, including that autumn paper. I just got like seven packs. I was so excited. It just came today because I ordered it last week when it came in. It was so funny because I did my video last Monday, no, last Tuesday. And it, and right after the video, like three or four people emailed me and said, that paper's in, that paper's in. So they kind of did a little trick um, the other day and said it was going to come in Monday. It didn't. Then they said, oh, it's going to come in next Monday. So it came in Tuesday. They threw it out there, didn't tell anybody that it was in. So um, I think it's still available. So hopefully it is. Um, but I was lucky enough to get a whole pile of it so that's good all right today is the last day to get this kit so if you love this kit and this is the one with the same exact paper so this is the one we did where you see the front and the back of the paper in the car and then we did some white craft on this same exact folder we're using today so this is a really quick and easy card that i love and this was the kit through today today's the last day you can get it um, with a $50 order, you can use this code if you want to. Um, and if you do $100, you'll also get these gems with it. And you'll also be entered to win a mystery box. So I have a giant box full of about $250 worth of stuff. Um, it's all retired stuff. And I will be giving that away to one lucky winner um, from all the people that order $100 or more from the fifth, no, the 16th of this month till today is the last day. So um, that's what you get. And then today's kit, starting today through the 15th, is this kit. You're gonna get three sets of um, supplies to make this card. Plus, you'll get a napkin, and this is a funny story. So this is actually what I was gonna do today. So I was gonna do napkin cards. <laughs> found these napkins in my drawer and I was like oh, I love this pumpkin it's so cute so I start making the card and I was gonna do a uh, book binding card so I did it four by four which is this size because this napkin's only five by five so I was gonna do a book binding card with this and I embossed it with the um oh shoot now I forgot the name of that um who knows the name of this folder it's a brand new one I can't remember, but I embossed it. And then I'm sitting there looking at it and I'm like, man, this napkin looks really familiar for some reason. So <laughs> I go back and I start looking through my videos and I actually did a video with this napkin last year. <laughs> so <laughs> I said, well, um, maybe I should change to something else since I already did this napkin. So I have a bunch of these left. So I'm just gonna give everybody that places a $50 or more order this month one of these napkins, you can make two of these cards and go check that other video out. It's from about a year ago under the lives. So you get two blank ones and two with the pattern. So you can make two cards and the book binding card is a great one to do with this because it's smaller. So um, check that out. If you just search Lisa Freeman napkin cards, it should pop up. I've got like five videos with that. So you'll get three sets of this and a napkin with a $50 order. And then I've got the gems with a $100 order. And um, I will have another mystery box. So fun, fun, fun. So lots of fun giveaways right now. And don't forget, it is the last day to sign up for this amazing kit. So you get two choices. <clears throat> you can either get... Um, $125 of product for only $64 and you have no no shipping and you get a free paper pumpkin kit. So that is well over $150 worth of stuff um, for $64. So that's a great deal. Or you can do second choice, which is pay $99. You get $168.75 of product, whatever you want, plus free shipping, plus... Um, a free paper pumpkin and an on stage free registration, which is $77. I always forget to tell you that. And I, um, today's the last day to do that. So, 
on stages next week. That's a little Stampin' Up! Um, online convention that we have. So if you want to take advantage of this, you just go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com. And at the top of the page, there's, um, depending on if you're a phone or computer, um, it'll either be written out or there's like three little lines you click on. And it's a drop down menu that says join my team. Or you can just go to Stampin' Up! Click join my team. And make sure you put Lisa Freeman in as your demonstrator. So I would love to have you join my team. It's a lot of fun and you get a discount for as long as you stay active. I got a few cards in the mail. So I want to show you those. This one is from Vicki Kemp. So Vicki sent me this gorgeous little um, birthday surprise. And <laughs> there was a note that says, pull the bow. So I'm sitting here trying to pull the bow. Nothing's happening. But I didn't realize it was two pieces. So you pull it out and it's got a little message there. And then it opens like that. So isn't that cute? I love it. So that fits right in this little pocket here and there. <laughs> so it took me a minute to figure out how it worked, but it was really cute. So it opens like that and then this just pops out. So there it is. And then it came in this beautiful envelope. She made the envelope out of um, designer paper, which I thought was beautiful. So thank you, Vicki. Love it, love it. And then I got this other card. This one is from um, Amy Marr. And it is one of the fractured cards, and I love it. She said she messed up on here, but I don't see it. Uh, I think she did something and then cover it with the leaf, but I think it's beautiful. Um, and then she wrote me a long note in here. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm kind of sad now my birthday is over because I'm not getting hardly any cards in the mail anymore. So you guys can still send me cards even though my birthday is over. Because we got Christmas coming up um, soon in a month and a half, well, a little bit, a little bit less than two months. So you can send me fall cards or Christmas cards, and I, I always show them to everybody, so you'll be famous. So there you go. I think that's all my announcements, and let's get started. All right, so we have lots of supplies. Let me read the comments real quick. Um, I think today is going to be a washout for Halloween because... It's supposed to start raining in the next hour or so, and um, it's gotten really chilly, so I think it's going to be raining and cold tonight, and um, uh, most people probably are not going to go trick-or-treating, so I don't know what people are going to do, and I've got all this candy I bought, so I'm going to be sitting here eating it. Um, Vicky says only seven. I'm not sure what that means. Only seven, what? Got my fall paper today, Fran. Cool. Hey, Anya. It's time for dinner in Germany. What are you having for dinner? Um, oh, seven packs of the, that autumn paper. I, I see what you're saying. Um, hopefully, it's not out before I can get some. Maybe they should limit number of packs. Well, it's been available for a week now. So, hopefully, um, I would get some today, though. But it's been available since last Tuesday, so, uh, and hopefully they bought 100,000 of them, so I think they have enough. Um, Distress Tile is the one we're using today, so I've got that one. Um, but I was talking about that napkin card. Which one is this one? I don't know. Did anybody figure it out? Let me see. Oh, yeah, remember thumbs up. Make sure you do thumbs up. Um, Vicky says, have two birthdays. That's what I should do. Have two birthdays. But then I'd be twice as old. I could do a half a birthday. Like in, um, what would be a half a birthday in six months from now? Let me see. Uh, April. Um, it's 86 down in Florida. Well, it was 80 here yesterday. And, um, stamp it up. They make Thanksgiving stamps. Um, I don't have any, but... Um, yesterday was 80. I got off work last night. Oh, it's rope embossing folder. That's what it is. Rope embossing folder. Um, so I got off work last night and it was really warm outside. I was like, man, it feels like summertime. And, you know, we already knew that this cold front was coming through last night. So I stopped by Food Lion to get a couple things. And, um, so I went in Food Lion. It was just like warm and kind of like bleh, out and... I come out 
and the temperatures already started dropping and the wind picked up like 40 miles an hour and it kind of looked like a hurricane going through the parking lot because everything was blowing around. So um, I got home and stuff, it was just like a blizzard of um, leaves flying everywhere. So it was really kind of funny. And then this morning we woke up and it's freezing cold. I had to turn the air conditioner on last night because my house was so hot. And then I woke up this morning and it's freezing. So, all right. So you need five and a half by eight and a half pecan pie or pecan pie and pecan, pecan. I know everybody says it different. Um, five and a quarter by four white. And we're doing three cards. So, because these are super easy cards. I'm really into the easy ones right now. I know you guys want to make easy cards for Christmas. Because you got to make a bunch. Five and a quarter by four of the designer paper. And this one is the one with the music notes on the back. I have a bunch of this left over. So I was like, I need to use this paper for something. I have the green one. I have the green checked and the red checked. This one has this on the back. So I was trying to decide which one looked better. But since I had the cardinal on the um, deer, then I decided... Um, since I have that red right there, I'd use the red one. Um, you need some scrap paper. Oh, this is five and a quarter by one and a half of the same paper. That's the green one on the back. And scrap paper to punch your circle out. And then your words are on three and a quarter by three quarters. So there's all your measurements for these cards. And they are super easy. Very, very easy. Twisted rope. Yeah, it's the twisted rope. Um, let me see. Looks like a cable sweater. It does, kind of. It's 37. Vicky says it's 37. Burr. 53 in Alexandria. 32 in Wisconsin. Ah! <laughs> Vicky says, I say it like you, like you pee in a can. <laughs> yep, that's one way to remember it. <laughs> you guys are going to love my joke today. It's kind of a little, little bit dirty joke. But if you don't like a little bit dirty joke, then you don't have to listen to it. You can turn it off. But I think it's one your husbands will love. So if any of you guys are married and your husbands are around, you have to tell them to come in and watch the joke. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of that. Got to take a sip of my water. So, <coughs> yesterday I was at work and I was eating some candy because I took a whole big bag of candy in. And I took these gummy Skittles. And so I was eating a couple right when somebody walked in the door. And I started kind of like, you know how it goes down the wrong way and you start like choking a little bit. But you're not really choking. You're just kind of coughing, choking. So I start like coughing. And then I start sneezing, so I'm coughing and sneezing at the same time. And everybody's just staring at me. And then you know what happens if you're coughing and sneezing and you're over 50. <laughs> I had to run to the bathroom. <laughs> I should have put some Depends on yesterday. <laughs> I'm telling you. And my friend Jordan's sitting there. She's laughing at me. She's like, I don't know how you just did that. <laughs> I said, I don't know either. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do first is um, glue these pieces together. So we need to glue the brown to the red. So we'll do that first. And then we're gonna emboss it by the magic of TV. Deborah says, replay it for them tonight. Replay, um, replay this video. You can pee in a can. You know what I saw on, um, there's a girl I work with who likes to go camping. And she was talking about this thing for girls, you know, who like to do, uh, like camping or outdoor things where, you know, there's no bathroom. Now they've invented this thing where girls can pee standing up. And it's, uh, I don't know, I think it's called like a pee cup or something. So I looked it up on Amazon, and sure enough, there is a thing that you can now um, pee standing up if you're a girl. And it's just like this thing you put, you know, there. And 
it just comes out. You don't even have to squat. So if you're on a long road trip or you're camping or you're lost in the woods or, you know, whatever. The problem is what happens with the toilet paper? Do you still need toilet paper? Because I don't like the drip dry method. So I think you would still need your toilet paper. All right. So that's all you do first is glue these um, pieces to the front of your red checked. Then we're going to run this through the embossing folder. And by the magic of TV, I already have them done. So I did three ahead of time. So you're using this one, which is the Distress Tile. So you put it in here, take it out, and there you go. By the magic of TV. So I also did one um, this way, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, so we'll talk about this one first. So what I did, this is how it comes out, looking just like this. So it's really distressed looking, but I wanted to distress it more. So, anybody know what I did? Take a guess. Anybody know? Oh, it got blurry for a minute. Gave my daughter-in-law one last year. It's like a funnel. Yeah, it is. It is kind of like a funnel. Except, I don't think it's made for overweight people because... All the girls who were demonstrating it on the little commercial were skinny. So I'm thinking if you're overweight, it's going to be a little bit hard to do it. But it would be nice, like when you have to go to the doctor and do a um, urine sample. And they give you this tiny little cup that's about this big, you know. And you have to pee in it. And you're like, okay, well, after you get it all over everything except in the cup. <laughs> snowing in Iowa. Holy cow. Yes, Vicki, we are going to sand it. So I got a little sander here. I got this on Amazon. You can get it at the Dollar Tree or wherever you want to. It's just a little nail sander. So what we're going to do is sand it and it's just going to take off the top layer. I'm going to do it really, really, really light. So just very gently. I know this makes a horrible noise. I'm barely touching the paper. Oops. And it's making a mess. Let me get a piece of scrap paper so we don't make a mess all over this. Okay. So barely touch the paper. And what it's going to do is where it's raised up, it's just going to scrape off a little bit. So now it makes it um, white there. So I think that just looks really cool like that. But if you don't like that look, you don't have to do it. You can do that. Or I did something else. So for this one, I actually took the pecan pie um, ink pad and dragged it across. So I had it, let me show you. All right, I opened it, pretend it's open. I'm not gonna do it again. So pretend it's open and I just took the pad and I just went just like this really lightly across the top. And so that made it darker. So you can either leave it the same Make it white or make it dark. Um, whatever you like, your preference. I liked the white the best because I thought it kind of made it look antique -y, you know, looking. So this is what I did for all of them. And then if you just want the wood piece dark, you can do it that way. That's just the same thing with um, scraping that pecan pie ink pad across there. So I'm going to do that with all three of them really lightly. So you, I'm just barely, barely touching this, even though it sounds like I'm really scraping it. I'm not. Like, no pressure. I'm barely laying it down. So do that with all three. And my friend Faith found a sanding block at Dollar Tree, but it was totally different. Like one you'd get at the hardware store, but I went and looked for it and I couldn't find it. So um, I just have this one that I bought on Amazon. All right, we're going to do the inside of our card with the trees. So I've got these trees right here from that stamp set I just showed you for Forever Forest. This is Baja. No, Boho. Not Baja, Boho. <laughs> Boho blue, not Baja blue. So we're going to ink this up. Let's do it this way. 
And we're just gonna stamp this right in the bottom corner. So there you go. If you wanna try and do and get a second um, stamping, you can. It's pretty light though. I guess my pad's a little bit dry. So there you go. <sighs> Try to get a little bit more out of there. And then last one. <sighs> I like always making three cards because then I can always give away one and don't feel so bad. And then I have a couple left over. So there's our inside. So that was boho blue and the trees then we're gonna stamp our um deer so here's what i did so here's the whole stamp so you need the big big block but all i wanted was this part so i'm like okay i don't want to ink up the whole stamp and waste the ink waste all this paper i just want to stamp this part on scrap paper so i put a block right there and so it's just gonna be inking up that part. And I've got scrap paper. So we're gonna be using pecan pie. So I'm just gonna ink up that part of my um, stamp. So that's all that's inked up right there. And then I'm gonna put that on my scrap paper. And it's just gonna give me that part. So there you go, voila. That came out dark too. And then you're gonna punch it out. I've got the two and three eighths inch circle punch. So you're just gonna put that in there. You wanna make sure you get your bird. So you might have to turn it upside down. I just wanna make sure that bird's in there. So then just punch it and set it there. And then we've got one more. So I'm gonna turn this over, do it again. And stamp it on my scrap paper. So where you don't have a block, it's probably not going to stamp much of anything. Because you're not really inking it up there. And then put that back in. Make sure you get that bird in there. And voila. So there's two. I need one more. So one more time with the ink pad. And you could just sit here and make a whole bunch of these. Because see, it's not going to really go past where you've got that block. So it saves you ink and paper. Oops, I just dropped my words. Okay. Whew. You know when you bend over and your stomach's in the way? <laughs> and you're like, okay. It'd be so much easier if I had a flat stomach. All right, let me see what's everybody saying. I like the drag, okay. I like the ink drag across better yet. Oh, okay. Well, Vicki says I used to buy white core paper. We have some white core paper in the catalog. I don't know if you guys know that, but we do. Um, oh, snowing in Iowa too. Yep, 50 year old bladders, that's what I got. <laughs> One of those nail things. Yep. The little cup. That's what it's called. Stop with the P. What? <laughs> okay, so we're going to punch this out. And then we're going to color it. So just make sure you get that little bird in there. All right, so we're done with our scrap paper. Now we're going to, um, and that was two and three eighths circle. So we're gonna sponge this, but in order to sponge it, you need to cover up your um, deer. So what I did was I took my post-it notes, and these are the super sticky, these are sticky all the way, the whole entire thing. So I just grabbed a couple, I should have grabbed three instead of two, but I did two at a time. You can grab three at a time, stamp your, um, so I just stamped this right on here, and then I cut it out. So that makes a mask for me. So I've got two, I should have done three, but that's okay. So then you're just cutting it out, you're making a mask. I've got two of them. So I'll just have to peel one off when I go to the other one. 
So this is the one I just cut. It was behind this one. And we're going to sponge some balmy blue right on top, but it won't get the deer. So we're just going to go around him or her. Could be a girl. We don't know. And we're just going to sponge the part. I figure this is snow right here, so I'm going to try and stay above that line and just do the sky part. And the trees will get a little bit of blue too, but that's okay. But then it looks like sky. And then when you take it off, he's still white. So we'll stick him on here. And I mean, if you wanted to, you could do the trees too, but I figure the trees wouldn't matter too much if they got a little blue, blue on there. So same thing, just sponge all around. I love masking. And you can save these masks and use them over and over and over again. And they'll stay sticky for a long time. And we're gonna color that little bird in there too, that cardinal. So it doesn't matter if he gets um, color on him because we're gonna color him red. All right, last one. One of my girlfriends at work had a Halloween party over the weekend and she was showing me pictures. <laughs> she was so disgusting looking. She was like, I don't know, walking dead or something. Disgusting. And she had done some makeup on her face that looked like um, a professional makeup artist did it. It was, it was just absolutely gross. And then she put false um, contacts in. So she had like creepy looking eyes too. And I said, that is really creepy looking. <laughs> so I think I would have scared myself. All right. So I'm going to take the um, red marker. So this is just the real red marker and I'm going to color just a little bit right there. Then I'm going to take my wink of Stella and we're just going to color that cardinal right here with wink of Stella and the red, um, marker so it'll be a little bit dark but not as dark as it would be if it was um the straight marker so you can still see the bird in there and it gives it a sparkle too and then we're gonna rub it off so there's the bird done and you can rub that off just wipe it right off your block so that was just, this is what I did with, um, this stamp has a ton of rubber left to it. So I just put these on a block and you could make like, um, some kind of, uh, a background like, uh, cheetah or something. All right. You want to get the red off of here and clean it off. I think this one's about empty too. It is. Oops. Almost empty. Hold on. I think we got, oops, there you go. It came out. All right, so I'm gonna color my um, deer too. So I'm just gonna do the brown part of the deer. So he's sparkly too. Or she, it could be a she. You could color the whole thing if you want to. Let's do, just do the whole thing. That'll be easier. Okay, oh, now it's coming out a lot. Holy cow. <laughs> that was too much. Now it's like flowing. All right, so there we go. And then let's do the next one. Wow, this thing went from dry to socket, sopping wet really fast. I think I squeezed too hard. All right, so we're just making a sparkly deer and a sparkly um, bird. Because who doesn't love sparkles? And then we're gonna spray with shimmer paint too, so, or shimmer spray. All right, so there we go. So you guys can see how cute that is. If you want to, you could do the snow too. Let me see. We'll do some snow on this one, see if we like it. 
And so there you have this note too. You can do that if you want to. All right, so now we're gonna put it together. Oh, we gotta do the words, sorry. Forgot about the words. We don't need that. All right, so for the words, we're gonna be stamping the words in early espresso. Um, let's see. <laughs> Vicki, what do you mean, what did you win? Did I say you won something? <laughs> you won the little pea cup, that's what you won. Um, let's see, sprayed with glimmer. Yep, I'm gonna spray it. Cobblestone background note. Cards need shine, yes they do. What stamp set is that? The, the deer one is called um, Graceful Deer. It's one big giant stamp and it's in the holiday mini. So we're gonna stamp this on our little strips that I cut out. And the Season of Cheer is actually in another stamp set. I can't remember which one. I wanna say, oh, poo, which one is it? Anybody know which stamp set this one is from, the Season of Cheer? It's one I just used the other day on a video. I want to say it's the one that has the Noel and stuff in it. Oh, the scrap rubber could be a cobblestone pattern. That's what, okay, I see what you're saying. All right, then we are going to do my favorite thing, which is dip it in the ink pad to give it a border look. So, uh-oh. I must have it on my finger somewhere. Because I smeared it. So be careful, you don't want to smear it. So I was weak yesterday. When I went to the store last night, they had um, the Marie Callender's pies on sale for like uh, five, five dollars and something. So I was like, mmm, I could go for a pie. So I just happened to have some Tillamook vanilla ice cream to go with it, and I said, mm, that would be good with apple pie. So I bought one of their Dutch apple pie, so I just got it out of the freezer, and now I'm gonna cook it after the video and uh, eat that with some ice cream later. All right, so this is our inside, and you could do this in green too if you wanted to, but I, I love, I don't know why I love blue trees, even though um, trees are not blue, I, I just love, inking them up in blue. I think they're so pretty. I did a video last year where I had, it was all dark blue, um, starry, starry sky. I think that's what I used, starry sky trees. And it was the prettiest card. And you guys know, I think by now, I have 500 videos on my channel. So, um, if you ever get bored or, you know, want an idea, you can always go to my YouTube channel and just start scrolling. There's a lot that are under live, and then there's a lot that are just under videos before I used to do lives. So you can search for hours and find just tons and tons and tons of videos. All right, so this one right here, we're going to put on with some ribbon. So I've got my gold satin edge ribbon. So we're gonna wrap one piece around the front and then do a faux bow on the front. So we're gonna take each piece. So if you're getting the kit, you'll be getting um, three long pieces and three short pieces. So make sure you don't get them mixed up. So the long piece will go around the front. Whoops, I got it sticky on my finger. So we're gonna do that right there, about right in the middle. And put a little bit of tape there. And then the problem is it pulls it just a little bit. Oh, that's really cro crooked, hold on. That is so crooked. Let's fix that. Make it straight. Okay. So it pulls a little bit, so when you glue it down, what you're gonna do is put a glue dot 
right there. So let me find my glue dots. What did I do with them? Here we go. We're gonna put a glue dot right on that edge. I'm gonna use my pick tool. And put one right there. Oops. And the other side. So put it right here. Because what happens is that is going to pull when I put the other piece of ribbon in and pull it tight, it's going to pull it. So I want it to make sure it stays down really good. Oh, do you know what I forgot? <laughs> I forgot to put glue on the back of the card. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it might help if we have glue on the rest of the card. Duh. <laughs> it's only going to stick where you put that ribbon. <laughs> Okay, Lisa took a silly pill today. All right, so there we go. All right, that'll work better. So, maybe we'll put the glue dot on after we glue it down. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yes, I do need a nap today. <laughs> I'm so tired. All right, let's put the glue, well, let's put this on first. And then... Hopefully that's straight, yep. All right, then the glue. We're gonna glue it down, then we're gonna put the glue dot stick under there. All right, maybe this will work better. So we don't forget. Well, you guys probably didn't forget. You were probably sitting there going, hey, don't you need to glue that? <laughs> All right, then we'll take these glue dots. Stick one just right under that, right there, and one over here. I love this take your pick tool thingy. So another one right here, and there you go. So that'll stick really good when we put the other piece of ribbon in there. All right, one more. Okay, make sure it's straight. Put it down. And it kind of reminds me of like old fashioned Christmas. Um, you know, all that distressed look. All right, and a couple more glue dots. I'll be so glad if they ever make these glue dots back the way they used to make them. And I know somebody on here said that they knew somebody who owned that glue dot factory. But they're still coming out the same old way. So hopefully they'll be fixing that. All right, so we got all of our glue dots in there. Okay, so now we want to put our, uh-oh, where's the card? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so now we want to put our deer down there. This goes on with dimensionals. So we'll just put like four on each one. Anybody watched anything good lately? There's like nothing on TV right now, except like everything had the finales, except for Big Brother. And I'm gonna try and line that up right there with the, um, oops, the edge. The Golden Bachelor, I watched that. Now it's getting down to the bottom three. And I he picked one I don't like. But, and then, well, two of the ones he picked I really like, and then one he picked I don't like. So I'm hoping that he ends up with one of the two I do like. But they show that he breaks down on the next episode, so I think he's having a hard time. The 
if y'all don't watch it, you don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> the guy they picked is really, really nice. Um, I think the verse comes from the sleigh set. I think you're right. It probably does come from that sleigh set. All right, this goes down on the bottom with dimensionals also. So three of these and there we go. So I'm wearing my nightgown right now and a jacket. <laughs> I got up this morning and the house was still like not cold. It was still kind of warm from yesterday, even though I had the air conditioner on last night. But as the day has progressed, the how the temperature keeps dropping in the house. So I got kind of chilly. I said, I think I'm gonna put a jacket on. Instead of putting like real pajamas on, I had just have a nightgown and a, a jacket. But it is nice. The good thing is I did laundry. And you know how like it's so much better to do laundry when the house is cold because then you can like warm your house up and it's nice to get stuff out of the dryer when it's nice and toasty and just like lay it on top of yourself. And then I'm going to make that pie. I might make some pumpkin bread. Just get all nice and fall stuff done. I wanted to put some grass seed down before it started raining, but I don't feel like putting clothes on today, so. That's what I love about working from home. You don't even have to get dressed. Although, I guess, if, if it doesn't start raining, I might have to get dressed in case some trick-or-treaters show up. <laughs> I don't want to scare them. <laughs> although, although, who could I be dressed as in my pajamas? <laughs> oh, I know, a person of Walmart. <laughs> You know those people of Walmart videos where they show those people that show up at Walmart like in their pajamas and um, they always post the videos and they're like half naked. Uh, we had this guy come in yesterday for a drug screen and he walked in. You know the bonnets that um, some people wear at night for their hair? He came in, this was a guy came in with one of those big giant bonnets on. And I thought, okay, it's bad enough if you wear it to sleep in, but at your own home. But, you know, to go out in public, especially a man, and this was a grown man, it wasn't a kid, it was a man, probably like 30 something, wearing this big bonnet. And I thought, you should be embarrassed to go out in public wearing that thing. But we have people come in wearing everything including bathrobes, slippers, pajamas, everything. It's crazy. <laughs> no, I do not go out in public without being fully dressed and having my hair and makeup done because I don't want anybody to see me that I know. And even if I didn't see anybody I know, I don't want anybody looking at me weird and saying, what is she doing in her pajamas in public? just crazy all right so that's how you do your little phobo so you just stick it under there wrap it around tie a knot let me get my trash off the table and now we're going to put some dimension i mean not dimensional some gems so i've got my gold pearls from my festive pearls so we're just going to stick some of these on here and three will be perfect um, there we go. Um, yes, Vicki, you're right. I could go to Walmart in my nightgown and nobody would probably even notice. <laughs> Except I would be embarrassed because, <laughs> you know, if I went to Walmart in my pajamas, I would run into five people I know because that's just how things happen. When I used to be a teacher, I think most of you guys know I used to be a high school teacher. And I would go to Food Lion, which is right down the street from my house. And I taught at the school right around the corner from my house. So everybody in the neighborhood went to um, that school, you know, who was in high school. And I did teach at the middle school, too, for a while. So I knew, like, tons of people. And just every once in a while, I would just want to run up to the store really fast, get something, and run home without, like, getting all done up. And every single time I did that, I would run into, like parents of my kids or my kids and they'd be like miss freeman what are you doing dressed like that <laughs> and 
And I'd be so embarrassed. And I'm like, dang it. And then if I got all dressed up and looked really good, I wouldn't see anybody I knew. All right, a little squirt of shimmer. Or two or three. Make it as sparkly as you want. And there you go. So here we go with all of our beautiful cards. So your kit will be the set of this. Um, you'll have to emboss it yourself and color and all that stuff. But I'll give you all the paper supplies, the ribbon and the um, gems to make that. And then you'll get your napkin also for free. And that's with a $50 order. And then with the $100 order, you'll get that also. And don't forget to use the host code. So um, let me pull up my joke and read a few comments real quick. Whoops. And they all just disappeared. I am a fashion statement. Oh, yes, Vicki. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Marjean. <laughs> no, I would not pass out candy dressed like this. Don't worry. Um, yes, I did. I put that hollyhock seed in the backyard. That could be my costume. Yeah, if I put some curlers in my hair and then I could look like a housewife, housewife or something. Um, uh, Vicki used to work at Walmart. She said she saw plenty of people coming in, in their PJs. That's just crazy. Why would you want to go out to Walmart, like of all places, in your PJ, then go back home and get in your bed after like being at Walmart? Ugh. And you pick up all those germs everywhere. All right, so let me pull out my joke. It's a funny one now. If you don't like a little bit of risqueness, you don't have to listen to it, but it is really funny. But I'm not gonna, there's a couple cuss words. I'm not gonna say the cuss words, so. All right, Tiger Woods um, shocks the gas station attendant when he says this. The pump attendant obviously knows nothing about golf, greets him in a typical Irish manner, so he's in Ireland completely unaware of who the golfing pro is. Top of the morning to you, sir, says the attendant. Now, I can't speak in Irish accent, so I'm just doing that. Um, Tiger nods a quick hello and bends forward to pick up the nozzle. As he does so, two tees fall out of his shirt pocket onto the ground. What are those, asked the attendant. They're called tees, replied Tiger. Well, what on God's earth are they for, inquires the Irish man. Um, they're for resting my balls on when I'm driving, says Tiger. Well, here's the cuss words I'm not going to say. Holy cow, says the Irishman. BMW thinks of everything. <laughs> Get it? They're resting my balls on while I'm driving. <laughs> so all of the husbands will like that one. I just thought it was funny. So hopefully you enjoyed it too. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. We're, um, only at 46 thumbs up. So don't forget to do that. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff for me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was at a wacky time for you. We'll be back on Saturday at noon with another one. And, um, I think I might do a fun technique or something. So we'll see. But thanks for joining me, you guys. I always love having you join me for videos. And thanks for all the comments and laughing. And I hope you enjoyed that. And if you ever need some laughing, just go back and watch another one. Because that's one thing you can pretty much guarantee is you'll get a good laugh out of my videos. So I'll see you soon, guys. Take care and have a great Halloween. Bye-bye.